Okay. <laughs> now it is 2.15 and it's time for Ministry Minutes. Amen. And that is brought to you by SelfPublisherSales.com. SelfPublisherSales.com, a place where you can promote your book or audio uh, book um, for free. So all you authors out there, go to SelfPublisherSales.com. Amen. Hallelujah. All right. So Ministry Minutes. Amen, amen. Ministry minutes today is on um, the uh, first three, first three or four chapters of the book of Job. I love Job. He's such an interesting character, and all the people in it. It's just like a, a uh, like Narnia. <laughs> it's like a, a big book of Narnia. Um, it's just so interesting. So many intricate characters, and so many uh, uh, delicate feelings and emotions and truth going on there. But um, so uh, read the those three four those four chapters. But I'm gonna just summarize it for you. Okay, so what had happened was Job had um, seven sons and three daughters, and all of them were just basically how can you put it in today's terms? They were getting drunk all the time, having parties, slacking. Just if there was a sin to be done, they did it. If there was a sin to be created. They created it. They were partying hard. You think you've ever party hard? These people were partying hard because they were rich. I mean, not just like your typical rich. I own a mansion, and you know, I got I own the land around the mansion. They own land from farther than what you could see. I mean, cattle's in the thousands, and and they were super. They, he Job was one of the richest men in the east. That's how rich they were. They were super rich. All right, so get that. So being having that kind of money means you can party long and party hard all day, every day. All right. So, but Job was a man of faith. He didn't do that. He didn't condone it either. But he wouldn't tell them. Okay, he wouldn't force them to stop. The way to force them to stop is to take the money away. But he didn't do that. Instead, he prayed and and he offered up um, incense. You know, on the altar, or incense to God, saying, "You know, Lord, forgive them for their behavior. Father, I apologize. Please forgive them." But how many of you know that God will not contend with man forever? He will give you over to that sin. He will give you over to it. He ain't gonna, you know, he'll give you time to repent, but you don't repent. He like, look, I can't even watch this no more. I'm gonna give you over to that since that's where you wanna be. I'm gonna let you stay there. So. <laughs> So when 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 uh what had happened was a group a tribe um called a tribe of of uh, Ethiopia came through and they were called Sabians which means Sabian means to be filled with the spirit so they were filled with the spirit of death and murder which was sent by Satan allowed by God because remember he gave them over to their sin these Ethiop this Ethiopian tribe pillaged all of the sons all of the land, all of the farm, all of the cattle, everything. They pillaged, killed everybody except for one person, one servant from each household. So each one of those servants came back to tell Job that everything was lost, all the children were dead. Job rent his mantle, which means he tore his clothes. But it wasn't just his clothes that he tore. He tore his covering. He exposed his spirit. Would, instead of calling out to God and saying, oh Lord, help me with this tragedy, help me to deal, Job went into a depression. So that means when he said, when they say, when, they, when the word says he tore his mantle, he removed his holy anointed covering because he allowed himself to fall into depression. He, he removed his covering. Amen. And so, of course, his friends heard about it, his three friends, and then they came to um, see Job and when they saw him from afar off they rent their mantle which means they they not only tore their physical clothes but they, they also removed their spiritual anointing they ripped their mantle and they called out to God and says oh Lord basically they were saying put it on me or Lord I, I, I feel what he's feeling look God don't want you to feel what he's feeling okay yeah have understand but these men should have changed the atmosphere. Instead, they sinned by becoming a part of the atmosphere, of the depressive atmosphere. And for seven days, they allowed Job 
to mourn and stupor and depression. Mourning is one thing. Depression is a whole other scenario because after seven days, Job began to speak. And true enough, he didn't outwardly curse God. And he prevented and he rebuked his wife when she did. And he rebuked his friends when they did. But when he said, I should not have been born, cursed the day that I was born, he not only cursed his lineage, his father's lineage, amen, he also, it, because remember, the breath we breathe is from God, Jehovah. So it's like he was saying, Lord, your breath was a waste of time. God is not waste. Whatever God do is never waste. Amen. So whenever you come into a situation, because I'm, I'm at the end of my five minutes, Whenever you come to a situation, whether it's you or a friend or family or somebody, and they're in a, de in a depressive state like Job, don't join the depression. Sing praise songs around them. Pray to God. You know, change the atmosphere. Don't become a part of the depressive atmosphere because when you do, you become a part of the same sin. You want to, re you want to change the atmosphere so that Job, amen, or your friend, can be renewed and restored just the way the Holy Spirit, the Good Spirit, uh, ministered to Jehovah when Adam sinned because Jehovah was grieving. But see, when Jehovah gets mad, he doesn't shout, scream, yell, or curse. He breathes, and his breath is light. So I'm saying, breathe, Spirit, speak. Speak unto God and lift it up to Him. Lift it up in praise so that you can be renewed, so that He can renew you sing over you, restore you. Amen? So, that is Ministry Minutes, and uh, we went two minutes over, but that is brought to you by SelfPublisherSales.com, so go ahead and check that out. Get some free advertising for your books, whether in print or audio. God bless you, and we're going to uh, break for a couple commercials, and then we'll be right back with some music.